Team Gamer here, and, well, the special program just came out. Yep, 4.4 is on the horizon. Everyone already knows it's Lantern Rite season, aka the uh, Wishes season, where you can get a free 4-star. So, uh, yeah, it, it's that type of event. And also, there's going to be a new map in Liwa. People say that it's around this area, I'm pretty sure. It connects to Fontaine, so it should be over here. Yeah, right, like right here. This is probably going to be the new area in um, the next version update. But yeah, well, anyways, uh, enough about me rambling about that. It's time to talk about the actual... Um, we're going to be going to test run because it's quiet. But it's time to talk about the special program. So yeah, but of course, I always have to put a disclaimer um, before I even start. So this is, of course, um, all the information comes from the special program as well as Honey Impact. So that is where my sources are. So um, if you want to know where I get this information, check out the special program and Honey Impact for more information. But yeah, without any further ado, let's just talk about it. So here we go. So um, we're going to be pulling up the special program. So yeah, this is it. This is the title of these, um, of the event. Uh, Vibrant. Harry's aloft in spring breeze. Yes. So as you see here, we have two new characters as well as two new skins right here. Uh, of course, um, they didn't show Xing Cho, but Xing Cho also gets a new skin too. So that's going to be our free skin. Um, these two get their own skin. So yeah, well, uh, glad they get their representation because of uh, Shang Yun, which is their uh, students. So yeah, or um, yeah, her teacher. But yeah, um, we have two new characters here, um, as you see in the um, the banner. There is Shang Yun, aka Cloud Retainer, and then we have Ga Ming. I know it's spelled gaming, but it's Ga Ming. But for the sake of comedic purposes, I'm gonna call him gaming. So uh, yeah, because uh, you know, uh, Genshin Impact, uh, you gotta be a true gamer in order to uh, play Spiral Abyss anyway. So yeah. Um, Instead of me calling him Ga Ming, I'm going to be calling him Gaming. I don't care if you want to correct me or not. I'm calling him Gaming. I, I don't care. But yeah. Well, anyways, it's time to talk about the actual um, characters. So I'm going to be scrubbing through everything here. So of course we have Ga Ming right here. Or Gaming. <laughs> uh, I'll be calling him Gaming from now on. But yeah, Gaming is a plunge pyro dps yeah uh, it's actually a big surprise because we have not gotten a plunge attack dps other than zhao zhao's the only plunge dps unless you count um d luke dragon strike yeah uh, people still run d luke dragon strike because of the plunge so um with the new character um of gaming <laughs> uh he is a pyro plunge so he competes with d luke for plunge damage um his whole kit is based around plunge damage. You'll see later on once I showcase his um once I showcase his build or his um his kit in Honey Impact. But um just so you know, he is a Pyro Claymore plunge DPS. So yeah, um that's the only takeaway that I'll give you there. Um next up we have uh Sean Yoon right here. Uh if I could pull her up. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we gotta go, like, around here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so yeah, we have Shang Yun, who is Cloud Retainer. She is a Animo Plunge support. Yeah, you see why I'm going here? So we have not only a 4-star plunging DPS, we also have a 5-star plunging support. Yeah, she supports plunging characters. She basically increases the uh, plunge damage of um characters so yeah so um have fun using her with zhao with uh dragon strike d luke and with uh gaming because shang yun buffs all of those um characters she also works well with other um characters who have decent plunging like uh like any other um character in the game uh that is a claymore or a sword yeah um I think Ayaka, Ayaka works well with Shang Yun because Ayaka's plunging damage is actually pretty decent. 
so yeah. Um, but uh, in the Spark Notes version, Shang Yun is just a plunge support. So yeah, that's all you need to know. And I think they talk about- oh yeah, she has a new story quest, obviously. Um, new 5 star mains, new story quest. Um, there isn't really that much info here. Because, um, really, it, the whole other event is just about the um, festival. And then the uh, other events here. So yeah. But, um, I think they showcased the banners here. Yeah, they did. Uh, we gotta go, like, around here. Yeah, so there we go. So here is phase one. Um, people thought that Xianhua and Gangyu are gonna be in this banner, uh, in this newest version. They're wrong, I guess. Uh, the leaks were kind of wrong, but, uh, the leaks are kind of true because, uh, well, the leaks said that, uh, Xianhua and Ganyu, as well as Xing Chou, get costumes, and yep, they got costumes. But, as for them being on banners, no way, Jose, they are not on banners. But, um... Remember when I said- and you can look back in the videos if you want. Remember when I said that I would get Nahida C2? Yeah, um, I'm just barely trying to recover from Navia and C2 Raiden, and they dropped this. They dropped this! As long as they dropped Zhang Yun on the same banner! I am getting blood dry. I'm getting blood dry. <laughs> I am actually getting blood dry. I think... I think I might have to spend on top up. I have to spend on my last two top ups. I I, I need to pull out all the stops and get every primo. Of course, I am not going for Shang Yun's weapon because she doesn't need her weapon to be good. It only just... um increases plunging damage, but her kit's already good enough to increase her plunging damage that she doesn't need it. Uh, you'll see what I mean when I go to the, um, when I go to, uh, Honey Impact. But, yeah, the Hina C2, I have red C0, so this is gonna bleed me really dry. And then Xion Yun, well, it's understandable, you have to pull, like, 90 to even get her in the first place, so yeah. And, uh, well, gaming is in the, uh, <laughs> is in the four-star pool so uh not only do i get a free gaming i have to, I'm, I'm probably gonna pull at least one of them so well the free four star is probably just gonna go to someone else but yeah um yeah this is going to be this is going to destroy me this is definitely going to destroy me because i need to get really lucky <laughs> with 50 50s yeah um this is going to be a really, really tough battle. But yeah, um, enough about me rambling. I just wanted to get that off my chest. But yeah, um, as you see here in phase one, we have Shang Yun and Nahida. Um, both of them are really good. Like, really good. Especially Nahida. Nahida is probably one of the best supports in the entire game. Um, definitely the best Dendro character in the entire game, that's for sure. Because she can be support sub DPS and... If you have her C2, a DPS. Yeah, she could be a DPS or a sub. Um, C2, the Hida is like really, really broken. And she's also good at C0 anyway. So all you need is just to pick her up and that's it. You basically got one of the best supports in the entire game. Um, but if you want to boost up your Nahida just a little bit and you want her to deal big, big, big damage, get her C2. It's actually pretty good because she gets 20% crit rate and 100% crit damage on her E. Yeah, that is really, really good on a C2. So, if you want to boost your Nahida just a little bit and want her to do more damage, get her C2. But she works at C0 right off the bat, so you don't really need um, C2. But it's just my opinion. If you want her to deal, like, a bajillion damage, then get her C2. As for Shang Yun, um, she is a premier or a premium uh, plunging support. So, if you run characters like Zhao or... Um, Dragon Strike D Luke, or in this case, the new four star character gaming, then you could get her as well. She is a pretty good um, niche support for those characters, and those characters are going to be thriving. So, yeah, um, expect D Luke um, getting a boost in the uh, usage in Spiral Abyss because of Shang Yun. So, yeah. And then, as for the second phase, actually, no, I have to showcase a new weapon. So, here's the new weapon Crane's Echoing Call. Of course, this is for um, Shang Yun. 
it's a unique type of catalyst actually because uh it's just a fan but um I, she doesn't really need the catalyst to be good and you'll see why <laughs> but uh i need to see uh phase two i think they showcase it here so let's forward it a bit there we go all right phase two we have zhao and yay miko <laughs> so uh or yai miko <laughs> so zhao and yai miko it's a pretty good uh combo on phase two because you get uh, one of the best animal DPS's in the game, and you get one of the best electro sub DPS's in the game. So, um, yeah, this is a pretty stacked banner, like, actually. So, for Zhao, well, since Shang Yun is on the banner, uh, right here, if I could pull it up and scrub it through, yeah, as you see here. Since Shang Yun is on the banner, this is a, a must pick up if you are gonna be pulling for Shang Yun, because Zhao has, uh, Probably one of the highest plunging attack ratios in the game. So yeah, it is really, really good. Um, if you do pull for um, Shang Yun and if you want an Animo DPS on top of that, you can pull for Zhao. He's pretty good. As for uh, Yai Miko, Yai Miko is still used to this very day. She's still really, really good on the sub DPS spectrum. Used on Raiden teams, used on Bloom, Hyper Bloom. She just works. Yeah, it just works. She's really, really good. Um, her damage is up the wazoo now, thanks to Golden Troop, which is her newest, uh, best artifact set. So you can run Golden Troop on her, and then she performs, like, well, like, like, 50k per hit on E. Yeah, it, it's really, really good. So, yeah. Um, Yaimiko, still really good to pick up. So, in general, we have, uh, well, I have to pull it up again. <laughs> so we have pull, pull, and then we could skip a bit forward. Pull, pull. Yeah, these are all really good picks. Just like last banner. So, or just like um, this version with uh, for uh, 4.3. Um, these 4.4 banners are really good to pull on. If you want to pull for them, these are all great strong options on your roster. So, yeah, that's <laughs> enough about my opinion. Now we have to go to actual honey impact. So, yeah, well, it's time to transition to honey impact. So let's just go to uh, Honey Impact. So yeah, right here, there we go. So Honey Impact, oh boy. So there's a lot of new stuff in um, this version update, as you see here. So we have gaming, Zhang Yun, the five-star weapon, Crane's Echoing Call. We have Festival Fever, which is the EXP you get from the um, festival um, event. Of course, we have these uh, food items, and then we have recipes. We have new um, weapon talent materials because there's the new uh, Liwa um, area. We got a bunch of other stuff too, as you see here, event um, or overworld items. There's also um, new cards too, I'm pretty sure, but I'm pretty sure the um, the special program shows it, showcases it anyway, so we don't have to scroll down to see what cards there are but yeah well anyways it's time to look at their kits and give you the spark notes version on them because i already know what they do so for shang yun uh pretty simple um she has a four uh normal attack damage uh normal attack when you use her e you basically not take fall damage and you can basically do double jumps yeah it's pretty cool um you can also um leap forward and then deal um Plunging attack, as you see here, plunging attack damage, and it's also AoE, which is pretty cool. And her Q just basically heals all party members and also um, uh, gives stacks to basically deal more plunging damage. So yeah, so in general, her E just makes her really floaty, which means that you can double jump and also deal plunging attack damage. And then her Q just gives her healing, um, which is pretty good because she is a support. And also, you get a lot of stacks, and also the more stacks you have, the higher your uh, damage is. Yeah, she's a really, really good support. And for passive talents, um, she has uh, low gliding speed, or basically um, increased gliding speed. I think this is the first time we get increased gliding speed as a uh, passive talent. Because the, um, the only other gliding um, passive talent i ever seen is the one that decreases your stamina when gliding. This increases your speed. So yeah, um, really, really interesting. Um, 
For Gale Feather Pursuit, you basically get stacks and then you basically increase the crit rate of your attack, which is really cool. And then this basically just um, increases the uh, nearby damage by 200% of her attack, which is really, really good. So yeah, um, all of these just basically cater to her um, increasing the plunge attack damage of other characters as well as the plunging damage of herself. So yeah, she is... Basically, she could be run as a main DPS or a support. It doesn't matter what you run her as, she'll perform really well on both. So yeah, um, as you see here, animal damage, plunging, animal damage, plunging, and then plunging on uh, crit rate and then plunging on attack. Yeah, it's really good. She is really, really good. But since her kit is based on her attack, you want to run her with max attack. So yeah, um, have her with max attack. Um, have her like attack 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 or if you are running a DPS set attack animal damage crit rate crit damage so yeah um, pretty basic all, all around so yeah that's Zhang Yun she is a plunging support and then here we have gaming who is a pyro plunge DPS as you see here with a bonus attack on percent uh, I'm pretty sure Zhang Yun's is also bonus attack yeah bonus attack yeah both of these are bonus attack um, characters this has four consecutive strikes, but you'll never use this because you're probably just going to be using the charge attack more. Her His E basically just deals plunging damage. Really cool, right? <laughs> so when you use E, you basically uh, leap high in the air and then you do a plunging attack, which is pretty cool. And then his Q basically just does AoE power damage. Think of it as a... Um, I guess think of it like... Like Gwoba? <laughs> I guess Gwoba. Um, or like those... Uh, or like Kale's Q, um, that works too. But basically, it decreases the cooldown of Bestial Ascent, which basically gives him more um, charge attacks. It's, it's pretty good. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> so yeah, um, his E just does most of the damage, and then his Q just basically gives his E back, meaning that you deal more plunging attack damage, which is pretty cool. And here's passive talents. So this increases the movement speed by day. Um, pretty basic uh, passive talent. This basically gains, he gains uh, HP, which is pretty cool. Uh, or he gains uh, plunging attack damage, I think. Yeah, yeah, he gains plunging attack damage. Pretty cool. And then here he basically gets healing bonus, which is pretty cool. So yeah, and he also gets 20% more damage. So yeah, this, his whole kit is basically just uh, plunging attack the character. Yeah, that's basically it. So basically... E does plunging attack damage, Q just uh, gives him more plunging attacks because it decreases the cooldown. This basically uh, regains his plunging attack, and then him, this just basically gives him 20% more damage if he's under 50%. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So yeah, there is a gaming pretty cool character. Um, his attack damage looks pretty high, so yeah. <laughs> and now it's time to talk about the 4-star weapon which is Crane's Echoing Call. So here is the, um, here's the stat, which is 16% attack, but uh, it looks pretty low, but um, the main description that we're looking after is this. So yeah, let's see here. So when you basically equip this, and then when you hit an opponent with a plunging attack, every character's plunging attack will deal 20%, 28% more damage for 20 seconds. And also, they restore energy as well, which is pretty cool. It's it's really, really good. Like, actually. So, yeah. Um, when you deal... When you basically deal a plunging attack, all parties' plunging attacks will deal 20%, 28% more damage. And then you also get 2.5 energy back for yourself. So, it's really, really good. Actually! Actually, super, super good. Because for Shang Yun, um, you basically do the plunge, and then you get the buff, right? Uh, it says on her E, basically get the buff. And then afterwards, all your characters will deal 28% more plunging damage, meaning that you just deal more plunging damage. And also, since you are getting energy back, you could spam her Q, which basically heals your party members, and also increases the amount of plunging attack damage you do. It's really, really good. Like, actually really, really good. So yeah. Um, in general, it's, it's actually, like, she's actually pretty good. Like, <laughs> like, holy crap. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, this is, yeah, the, Zhao, Diluc is getting buffs here. So, yeah. Um, 
Yeah, th this weapon is insane. Like, actually. But, then again, you could just run an attack percent, um... Yeah, you could just run an attack percent catalyst and forget about it. So, yeah, you don't really need this artifact to... Uh, or that, that artifact. You could just run a attack percent um, weapon, my bad, and then just get the same effect. So yeah, um, because her whole thing is uh, stacked around her attack. So the more attack she has, the uh, higher her, um, higher her basically the, her uh, damage is. So yeah, um, that's basically it for the honey impact segment. Now it's actually time to transition back to uh, the special program. Because I think that's the only, um, that's the only thing I have to showcase, actually. So, yeah. Alright. Um, I think that's it. So, yeah. So, now they just talk about the new, um, area in this event, as you see here. Um, well, that's not a new area. You could actually visit that. But, yeah. Um, it looks like it extends beyond. So, it looks pretty cool. Um, here's the lantern right. Obviously, we're gonna have a l another lantern right event. Um, here's another snippet of the new area, so yeah, uh, it's gonna be pretty, pretty, uh, um, fun to explore a new area. I mean, more content, right? <laughs> um, I think that's it, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, here's the new boss here, as you see. Um, this is probably gonna be Shang Yun's, uh, ascension material, so you probably need to farm, uh, off of this boss in order to basically get, um, all your rewards, so yeah. So, as you see here, um, I think they showcase all the costumes in this, um, frame right here. So yeah, we have Ganyu, as you see there. We have Xing Cho, which is pretty cool. And then I think they show Xianhua, uh, at some point. Yeah, Xianhua, there you go. Yeah, so all of these are pretty cool costumes. Um, and you get them on the Lantern Right event, which is pretty nice. So yeah, as you see here. Vibrant Harriers aloft in the Spring Breeze. This is the new um, event that's going to be taking place. Uh, we get a free um, four-star outfit with uh, Xing Cho. And we also get a ton of rewards too with a bunch of mini games, obviously. So I think they showcase some mini games. Yeah, so here you go. Here's a here's a puzzle mini game right here. So you just guide all the all the stuff to like boxes and and like get meat and stuff so yeah it, it's basically a glorified puzzle game so yeah um basically like it's basically i guess i guess it's just a dungeon crawler yeah it's just a dungeon crawler you just get the meat like that that's the all that's all you need to do just get the meat that, that's it <laughs> so yeah it's a glorified puzzle game next up we have a i think this is yeah, yeah, this is a uh, Mario Party mini game. You know how much Genshin loves their Mario Party mini games. So yeah, here is a Mario Party mini game um, event where you just collect a bunch of uh, stuff. So yeah, as you see here, you, uh, the more stuff you get, basically the uh, higher your score is. So yeah, again, it's just a glorified Mario Party mini game. <laughs> and then of course we have other um, stuff too. So yeah, here's a gliding challenge. And then, oh boy. <laughs> it's time to talk about this. <laughs> okay, so you know how it is in Lantern Right events, right? You get a free uh, Liwa 4 star. So, now it's actually time to talk about who you should get. So, um, it's pretty obvious. Like, it's a no contest, right? Like, I think everyone would agree with me that you should pick Shing Cho. There's no, there's no contest. It's either Xing Cho or Xiang Ling. Like, there, there's literally no contest on who to pick because both of these characters are like the best four stars in the entire game because of what their kit is. If you don't know what I mean, um, search up Raiden National and you'll see what I mean. So yeah, um, uh, if you want more uh detail, then I guess I'll just indulge on you guys. So. Xing Cho is one of the best Hydro supports in the entire game because when you normal attack, he does Hydro application and his blades do a lot of damage. So yeah, he is a great Hydro applicator and he also has damage interruption resistance on his Q and E. And also he gets his burst back really, really fast if you have energy recharge and also the Sack Sword. So all you have to do to literally make Xing Cho good is give him the Sack Sword. And, and he like performs really well. So yeah, it's he's extremely busted. Like super, super busted. Same with Zhongling. 
All you need is high energy recharge and she wreaks havoc. That's all she needs. Oh, of course you need to give her like crit rate crit damage. Same with Ching Cho. But it's still really, really good. She's the only, and I repeat, the only good pyro sub DPS in the entire game. Sure, Toma is pretty good. But uh, Toma is kind of finicky and also kind of eh. But uh, Chongling C6 has 20% pyro damage bonus. Yeah, uh, Toma doesn't have that. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Zhang Ling is really, really, really good. So uh, yeah, the the main choices basically that I have to give you is Xing Cho, Zhang Ling. That's it. <laughs> uh, if you if you are a new player, if you're a new player, you get you get Zhang Ling for free. So basically, all you have to do is get Xing Cho. But if you want more constellations. You could get either Xiongling or Xingqiu. So yeah, uh, it depends on what you want. But since every player gets Xiongling for free, you could get Xingqiu. So yeah, uh, basically on the bottom line, just get Xingqiu. Pretty cool. Um, if you want more constellations on your Xiongling, then get Xiongling. But uh, basically, these two characters are what you want. <laughs> Xingqiu, Xiongling. Um, for the third best character, it is also a no contest. It is Yunjin. <laughs> Yunjin is really good on normal attackers. And guess what? There's a lot of normal attackers in the game like Ayaka or Yoimiya or Child. Yeah, she works really well on all of those teams. So yeah, um, she is also a contender on the one of the best picks for the friends at the doorstep. Um, like character invite thing so yeah so basically what i want to order it here from top three is shang chou zhongling yunjin yeah um just pick those three any of those three is really really good as for the other characters they're kind of meh um you could get uh gaming if you want to uh complete the four star roster and if you don't have gaming because at least you get gaming for free right so yeah um which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick gaming because I own every single four star on this roster except for gaming. So, of course, I'm going to get gaming. Um, but, yeah, uh, I could talk about the others. Um, Yao Yao is actually pretty decent on a Denjo um, support. She works really well. Like, actually, uh, her healing ratio and her Denjo um, application is pretty good. So, yeah, she's probably going to be the fourth pick for most people. So yeah, um, yeah, Yao Yao is probably gonna be the fourth pick. Um, the fifth pick is probably going to be Beto because Beto is actually a pretty decent sub DPS on burst. So yeah, on not only you get the shield, you get the electro damage on normal attacks, which is pretty cool. So yeah, um, she's the fifth pick. As for um, the others, they're kind of eh, but uh, if I have to pick an order, it has to be. Ningguang, uh, Ningguang, Shangyun, and then Yanfei, uh, <laughs> yeah, Yanfei, and then, uh, her. So, yeah, um, this is, yeah, I guess that's just the whole list right there. So, uh, yeah, um, if you want to basically, uh, get any of these four stars, it's fine, I guess. So yeah, um, you could do the, or you could just pick Ching Cho or Shang Ling, or if you're uh, really crazy, um, you could pick uh, Yan Fei. It doesn't really matter what you pick; it is a uh, basically your preference. So pick whoever you want. But um, as for my recommendations, I will say it once, and I will say it again. It is Xing Cho, <laughs> Shang Ling. Um, and if you want a third option, you can pick Yunjin. As for gaming, it's hard to say. Um, what could be his placement? I guess he could be with... I think he's probably with Beidou. Yeah, um, because he actually has pretty good damage ratios on his um, damage. So it depends on what you actually want. So... If you want a pretty good pyro DPS, there's like no other pyro DPS you could pick. 
um, other than uh, gaming, I guess. Because the other characters right here, I guess Yanfei could work. Uh, you could pick Yanfei. But um, then again, you could just pick gaming. And also, if you do pick uh, Xingyan right here, Xingyan, um, she's a physical damage dealer. Uh, not a pyro DPS. So yeah, um, it, it really doesn't matter what you pick. But uh, if you love the character, of course pick them. Obviously, love triumphs all. So yeah. Um, but I guess I'll give my definitive listing. So Xing Cho, Shang Ling, Yunjin, um, Yao Yao, <laughs> Beto, uh, Gaming. And then uh, Ningguang, Chongyun, Yanfei, Xingyan. Yeah, that is the uh, definitive listing that I would pick on these characters. So yeah. Um, uh, if for the reason why I picked Chongyun as um, like higher than Yanfei and Xingyan is because uh, Chongyun is a uh, support. Yeah, you can run as a support because of his E. So you can basically give... All your other characters cryo damage on um, normal attacks so yeah that's the only reason why i did that and ningguang actually recently got a pretty good um artifact set on um on navia's artifact set so yeah you could actually run navia's artifact set and she performs really good so yeah um yeah that's basically all, all i have to say so yeah uh, as for the four star picks um top three xingqiu zhongling yunjin so yeah, um, sorry if I did ramble along, uh, like really, really uh, long, because I wanted to stress that well, it's kind of a pretty tough decision on what you should pick, uh, especially if you do love the character. But um, there is my opinion, basically. So yeah, and here is the um, the rewards we could get. So the event, the free four star. The May Fortune Find You. Of course, this is the, the 10 Intertwined Fates thing. We have Lantern Right, Gifts, or Events. We also have the two new costumes right here. The two 5-star costumes, which is Xianhe uh, Ganyu. And then we have the 4-star costume with Xing Cho. So yeah, um, that's also a reason why um, you could pick Xing Cho for this event. Because if you could pick Xing Cho, you could get his costume, which is pretty nice. But I think, um, now they're going to be discussing about, like, the new events, I'm pretty sure. Um, so, yeah. As this is the first event receiver of friends from afar. Remember this? It's pretty cool, right? You could get, um, food. And then you could cook the food. And then, yeah, that's basically it. You just get food. Um, that's pretty much the, uh, basis around it. And then as for this event... I think they showcase the name. I don't know if, if they showcase the name of this event or not. I think it's like later. Yeah, there we go. So journey through hilly gamic terrain. So it looks like just a t uh, random event that you could do. So yeah, you could play a hilly churl. Cool. And then you can basically do objectives and stuff. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. And then um, I think this is a, another event. Or is, you know, well, it is part of the same event. You just fight a giant hilly churl, which is, looks like a new enemy. So yeah, pretty cool. And then I think, I think they have two more events, unless it isn't. Oh yeah, yeah. Here is the uh, difficulty settings. Yeah, so you can just do difficulties on this event. Pretty cool. And then I think they have a yeah. You could do a character limit. And then yeah, that's pretty much it. So this is a, I think this is a new event, right? The frenzy thing. Yeah, triumphant frenzy. That's it. Yeah, that's the new event. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So this is a domain event. Um, I already did showcase that you can pick a difficulty. You could also um, select characters as well, which is pretty cool. And then you just steal, or you just complete the domain. Oh yeah. And then here's some new um, TCG um, update. So yeah, you get Sayu, Toma, the Cryo Hypostasis, and then this uh, the Electro Unicorn from the Fontaine map. So yeah, uh, those that's your new uh, TCG update. I think that's oh yeah, they do have 
Oh my, oh yes, they do. They do have this um, feature here. So you can make custom loadouts. Pretty nice. It's really, really cool that we can have custom loadouts. Finally. So if you want to run, I guess, like a 150% ER um, Farina, then you can run a 150% Farina. And then if you want to immediately switch back to a 200% ER Farina, then you can switch back to 200% ER Farina. It is actually really cool. Like, actually really, really, really cool that they added this. So, yeah. It makes equipping artifacts 10 times easier. Really, really cool. So, yeah. Um, I think that's all, they, that's all they showcased, right? Yeah, that is all they showcased. So, yeah. There is the... 4.4 uh, special program. So yeah, I know, I know it is really, really scuffed. I know it's really, really scuffed. But yeah, um, I just wanted to get a lot of stuff out of there and also give my opinions. Of course, this is my thoughts and discussion, of course, as the tense, as, as the title of the video. So yeah. Well, anyways, uh... <laughs> If you like this um, type of video, if you love me talking about stuff, rambling about stuff, be sure to leave a like down below. Uh, any amount of support is greatly appreciated. Tells me that you guys love the content. Also, if you do um, subscribe to the channel, uh, or if you do like the videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel and not miss out on a single upload. I upload get your videos once a week, so if you do subscribe to the channel, it is pretty, pretty cool um, that you can. And also, um, if you do subscribe, turn on the notification bell to not miss out on a single upload that I do. Oh, I think this is probably gonna kick me out unless it isn't. Oh, yeah, never mind. Yeah, it, it's just it's just my Wi-Fi reconnecting itself. So yeah. Um. Well, anyways, uh, back to what I was saying before I got interrupted. Um, be sure to uh turn on the notification bell to not miss out on a single upload. Yikes. Um. Basically, it tells you that you could basically um get my uploads more often because I upload once a week so it's kind of inconsistent but yeah uh and also comment down below what do you think of 4.4 uh the version program do you think it's cool you think it's bad are you gonna be summoning for Shang Yun Nahida Xiao Yaimiko are you excited for the new Lee Web map are you not let me know in the comments down below uh you can also comment about how scuffed this um uh, discussion video is. After all, it is unscripted, so yeah. But, anyways, thank you guys for watching this Genshin uh, discussion video, and I'll see you guys in the next Genshin video.